Hi everyone, my name is Zahra Tabaja. I'm a student at the University of Michigan Year One. And I'm Zainab Bezi, I'm also a student at the University of Michigan Year One. Okay, so we're going to start off by telling you guys our personal experience of how we relate to the Arab Spring, and then we're going to kind of share how ASU plays a role in it as well. Can you see what's ASU for people who are not too? To... Okay, I'll start out with saying what ASU is. Okay. <laughs> so the Arab Student Union is an organization at the University of Michigan Dearborn. It started over 10 years ago. I'm not sure exactly when, but it's been around for a while. So the reason it was started was because there wasn't a huge crowd of Arabs at the University of Michigan Dearborn. And then they felt like there's a lot of stereotypes that people were going by and were following. So a group of students decided to start the Arab Student Union. What we do is we bring positive cultural awareness of Arabs and we also stand against all stereotyping. And uh, we have different branches that started at HFCC, at Fortin High School, at Support High School, at the University of Detroit Mercy. And we're hoping to still build the different branches all around because it is very, very important to make sure that as Arabs we do stand united and we do show like basically our true selves. We don't want to go by the stereotypings that everyone bases us upon. So that's what the Arab Student, uh, student Union is around for. Okay. So, as like my experience with the Arab Spring. I was born and raised here in Dearborn, so I really don't have a lot of experience with anything overseas. I went to Lebanon once, but I mean, we haven't had a lot of recent activity in Lebanon as it, we did in like Palestine, Egypt, Syria, and the rest of the countries. But what I can say is, so middle school, I really didn't pay attention to politics. I really didn't know a lot about politics. I was just living my life here in Dearborn, going to school, doing whatever I need to do. Same thing with high school. I mean, I understood more of the differences between people, where they come from, the different religions, races, and everything, but I still didn't pay attention to politics. It wasn't until I actually went to the University of Michigan Dearborn. My freshman year, I was approached to join the Arab Student Union. And then that's where I felt like you met people that were diverse and also were very into politics. So it was organizations like the ASU that allowed you to kind of express what you feel, see what everyone else has to say, and their different perspectives of the countries that they're, they're from, whether they live here or not, and then what they have to say about that. One important thing is, what I noticed was you don't really have to live overseas. You don't have to be born and raised there to understand what's going on. I mean, just talking about politics here in America, I know that we really can't make a huge difference. Like, we're not there helping people, fighting a war and all that stuff. But everything we do here in Dearborn or in Ann Arbor, Wayne State campus, all those campuses, we actually bring awareness. We teach people what's going on. We show them that, hey, I mean, yes, you're safe here in America, but there's a lot of people, your relatives, your family, your neighbors, just humanity and all. Like, there's a lot of oppression and violence around the world. So I just, like, learned, and then especially with this project, it taught me that I understand that I'm not there, but being here, there's a huge difference that you can make. Yeah, and similar to Zahra, um, before this, before I entered college, I, I never heard of the Arab Spring. I didn't know what it was. Even though I'm from Lebanon, but I never ever like checked the news or cared for anything that was going on there. I'm like, I'm American. I'm here. I hardly even knew we speak Arabic in front of anyone because like I'm, I'm American. Why would I? Whatever. So the first time I ever visited Lebanon was in 2011. That was before my freshman year of college. So that not nothing specific happened there, but it kind of like opened my eyes. So like I'm from this country. These are these are like. I have ties with these people, so I once I came back, it was like perfect timing. I joined ASU like my first week of college because like I saw people were always telling me about it, and it was like perfect timing. Um, the first um, the first event we had was um, actually the Arab Spring. That, that was my first time hearing about it. We had um, Osama Sablani, the founder of the Arab American newspaper. He mentioned the Arab Spring, and that was my first time ever hearing about it. So ever since then, I started actually like reading news, mostly and mainly about Lebanon because like you know that was where I just like had time and it was like I was still so attached to it from that summer so I was reading basically mostly about that but the something this program this um, this project actually helped me with was to realize that it's not only Lebanon because it's, it's not only where I'm from that matters okay but there is my, neighboring countries all around us have this have issues that don't even compare to what we have in our country right now especially at the current time so that was one of the things that so I noticed that a lot of the Earth City Union events is kind of related to SAFE on Ann Arbor's campus, so I'm glad that we're all making a difference. But a few events that did uh, catch my attention through uh, ASU, Occupation 101. We usually, we have this event every single year. It is about Palestine. We show a short documentary showing what's going on in Palestine. But the most important about this is divestment. 
we also make sure that our like the, our university, the tuition that we're paying doesn't go towards weapons that's sold to Israel or stuff that's against humanity. We like it going towards something that's ethical. So that's a huge thing on our campus. We do have um, a professor, Skirbina. He's not Arab, he's not Muslim, but he does help because he says that in his views it's ethically wrong for violence and oppression of killing innocent people overseas. So that's a great event to learn from. We also had Palestine Awareness Week. What we did with that week was we um, had roses. On the roses, we tagged, we had little tags of texts of what's going on overseas. And then again, we also mentioned, like I've said in one of his events, what's being funded through through the U.S. to Israel to, like, to go against these innocent people. And we also had names of young children that died. I mean, some of them were three months, some of them were a year old, some of them were two years old. And it was very sad. I mean, we were walking around campus with the name of someone that passed away. We're lucky to be living. We're lucky to be in school. We're lucky to be like going home to our families and everything. And then you had like three-year-olds or four-year-olds passing away overseas. And um, recently, the ASU and SIA, it's a Muslim group at the University of Michigan Dearborn, we had a candlelight for Bahrain and Pakistan, and basically just like all the violence and oppression that's going on there. And it was beautiful. We actually walked around campus holding signs, so a lot of people from inside the building decided to walk out and join us. They were trying to see what was going on, so we were heard, like our voices were heard. And at the end of the night, we run around our pond at the University of Michigan Dearborn and we recited poems. And it was very nice, just like a group of diverse people getting together towards the same cause. Um, like I mentioned, one of the first um, pro programs or events that we did that had to do with the Arab Spring was one, it was very informal, just we had Osama Sabani come and introduce what the Arab Spring was and what the issues had to do with it. Because most of us, like me, had no idea what the Arab Spring was. Like we've heard of it or haven't heard of it at all. Um, one of the other programs we had um, a few months after, we hosted. Um, Nobel Peace Prize winner Tawaka Kunman at the Dearborn Community and Art Performing Arts Center, and that was that was amazing. That was my first time seeing something of that magnitude. It was like there was hundreds of people, and it was very very like empowering because she was she's an amazing speaker, and everyone in the crowd was like involved in her speech. Like everyone, people were always applauding and cheering. It was really fun. And then another, um, so there's an event we do. Um, it's always a different topic. We have Ra'at Sharif Fadid. He's the vice governor of the Central Bank in Lebanon. And he comes once a year. Um, and this year, the talk was focused on the role of women in the Arab Spring. And a lot of us, we see what the Arab Spring is doing, but we don't see like the specific roles of individuals. So for example, he focused on women. That's what we focused on. So um, just to wrap up, this is, we just want to, like, speaking on both of our behalfs, um, this is this program, this project, I'm going to call it. Um, it really, really like opened our eyes to what's going on in the Arab Spring. and. We none of, like both of us. We don't. We really like honestly. We don't follow the news as others do. Like because we're not very educated on that subject. Like at the Arab Spring. So this is what I like really encourage everyone that hasn't taken part in this project in the future to learn more about the Arab Spring and take part in this project. Thank you. I'm really pleased and want to thank the students for their presentations like, uh, and for their work. Uh, I'm very pleased, and for I'm glad that the audience. Uh, Hope you have another hand.